Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start part 11 of Over the Rhine with Adobe Flex. Now, we've transferred from Flex 2 to Flex 3 and placed in a Yahoo Maps component. And that's all fine, but now we have a problem. And the problem is, is in the transfer, we lost our center state. And what I mean by that is that we had a canvas, all our components were inside the canvas, and all that was centered on the screen. So if you actually open this up a little bit and look at this application, it exists on the side of the screen, which is not what we want. I'm going to open this up so you can see that. And that just looks odd. So we actually want that application centered right in the screen, and it's not doing that. So how do we get that back? Now, if you recall, I said when you're working with states, you want to start by putting in a vertical, put in a canvas, have all your, and that vertical will center that canvas, and all your components are an absolute orientation with inside that canvas. So you can move them wherever you want to. We lost that, and so now we've built the project up we don't want to go back and rebuild it from scratch so we want to try to re-engineer it back into that state and I said it's more difficult to do that and it is but I'm going to show you how to do that today so with that said let's take a look at our application and so we've lost that vertical layout and so we're going to go ahead and put it back in vertical and let's run it and see what we get use size to resize this and if I go ahead through the menu here we see indeed everything is vertical uh, but this is not quite what we want and so let's go back and put in a canvas that is centered and absolutely arrange these uh, components inside that canvas so where are we gonna put the canvas well we can't sandwich the states inside the canvas so we're going to skip over that definitely can't put the action script inside the canvas so let's skip over that so we're left with these components the toggle bar and all the different canvases and images elements let's put let's sandwich those inside the canvas so we'll type in MX canvas see all of this code helping that's great I'm going to close that with a uh, greater than sign which completes the uh, canvas tag for me I'm gonna cut that go to the bottom of my components and paste it now I know how to do this basically through trial and error and working with the code and examining the code that was working before in flex 2 to what's working in flex 3 and uh, I'm gonna go back into design and see what I see and I kind of see something, but let's go to the different um, menu items and see what's going on. Uh, the blog, community. And when we go to community, suddenly you see that this is the canvas we just inserted, this little square up here. But my uh, media uh, board is not in that. So let's bring that canvas out, stretch it out a little bit. And let's stick my uh, flash media board or piece in there. Then we're going to go to home state. And we see got this large this little canvas here we just stuck in there but that media that uh that Yahoo Maps piece is not in there so we're actually going to stretch out this uh canvas okay i'm going to open up this window a little bit to uh 224 by 768 and let's stretch it out this way a little bit and now we're going to put that uh Yahoo Maps component in and I'm just dragging and dropping them inside the, the canvas. And you see, this is something I have to do. I'm going to explain to you why I'm doing this later on. But let's get this done uh, graphically first. And I'm going to stretch that out. And let's go to reading. And once again, it's not inside the canvas we put it. So let's stretch that out. And then we'll put the reading in there. Oops. There we go. Then we can stretch the canvas out a little bit more so we can see it. There we go. And the wiki. Stretch it out. And let's grab our wiki and stick it in there. And I'm gonna kind of move these components to different places. You can see they're not they don't have to be centered anymore. I'll move this over here. 
and home. That's that does need to be centered. Community, let's move that uh, over here. And uh, blog was blog was actually already inside the canvas. So now let's run this and see what see what we see. And so when I go to the different menu components, you can see the menus jumping all over the screen, uh, at least for the first one, and things are not aligned correctly. So we're going to go back in there, and we're actually going to physically set the width and height inside the Flex Properties panel. So let's do that right now. So I'm going to go to the uh, Windows and go to Flex Properties. And we see that Flex Properties panel is right there. Good. And what I'm going to do is click on the canvas and I'm come down here and set the canvas 900 by 700. It's width 900 and it's height 700. Okay, let's do the next one. The community site. We'll set its width to 900 and its height to 700. And the home state will set its width to 900 and its height to 700. Okay. And the reading state, click on the canvas and we'll set its width to 900 and its height to 700. And then finally, the wiki state. Click on the canvas. And it's width to 900. And it's height to 700. Nothing magical about these numbers. I just chose them kind of uh, just to make sure that everything was uniform. So now we're going to run to see what it looks like. OK, let's click on our menu items now. And now the uh, menu bar is not popping out all over the screen. The only problem here I see now is uh, that my Yahoo Maps component needs to be moved up. We'll do that. But now I want to go back into the code and show you what we just did. We fixed it. Our component is indeed centered on the screen now, which is great. Uh, so, But it was a little bit of a process, so there needs to be some explanation of why we had to go through that process. So let's do that right now. First of all, let's take care of a little bit of housekeeping. We'll go back to home and we'll pull that uh, component up so it doesn't look so strange. And I can actually hold the shift bar and the arrow key up and pull it up very quickly. Just real quick, we're going to know eventually we're going to have to get rid of this logo. It's kind of ugly. And we need to put some graphic and some CSS style sheets into this uh, a particular application, we'll do that later on in the game. So let's go to source and see exactly what we just did. I want to note uh, the, the uh, name of the canvas that we sandwiched the components in. It's called Canvas 10, and this is very important because we're going to reference this Canvas 10 in all our states. So I'm going to go back up to the top here, and let's take a look at blog. If you go down here, there's a set property. And what we did, we targeted Canvas 10. And then we set the width and the height, the width to 900 and the height to 700. And that sandwiched everything in the way it was supposed to go. In the states as well, once again, I go back and reference Canvas 10. You got it. 900 by 700. In the reading, same thing, reference to Canvas 10, 900 by 700. In the home, 700 height, 900 width, 900 by 700. And all the way through the application, you cannot sandwich the states inside the canvas, but you can the components. Because, they can't, because the states operate on set property. So I could have come along here and copied this set property code over and over again into the different components. But in all actuality, it's a lot easier to do in design mode and you probably won't make a coding mistake. So do it this way. We've got it set. It's going to center, and we can proceed from here.